in Azuma 11 Go Chrono Stones Wildfire. More friendly, lovely, happy level 99 competition routes. It's time for extreme pain because today we're taking on Dragon Link. We've jumped from just, you know, the boss of Vinazuma 11 3 or just straight to the end of Go. And, uh, yeah, Quentin is surely going to be by far the hardest goalkeeper we've had to deal with yet. You know, I struggled with uh, the Dark Angels because of that spirit that had Inferno Fist just battering the goal every which way. But, um, yeah, these guys just have someone who's supposed to be like the best goalkeeper in the game. We have a mix and match with John, though, who's got a bunch of good uh, dribbles to use, uh, good skills. Sadly, he didn't have a spirit. I want to give him one, but King Arthur is a higher priority. We need to go straight for the armor fly. So, mixy maxing my knockoff Bylon could be a mistake because, um, you know, I can only use that one spirit, two if my spirit link him. And, uh, you know, he's not, like, amazing compared to these guys. He's still a member of uh, Gaal, I believe. Gil or Gaal, one of the two. And so he's, he's perfectly good. You'll certainly see the quality of his shooting moves when we get into the goal, while crisscross is a very nice dribble to have in his level-up moveset. But, um, yeah, having the one spirit by default means he's one of the less useful people that I've been showcasing so far, but I still want to try it because, oh, man, I don't think we're going to be getting many goals on this guy anyway. He's already mixed and matched. He's done that rather than going for the spirit, so that's slightly more beatable. Oh, when did he get his spirit out? I completely forgot about that. Uh, hey, we've got a type advantage with White Hurricane. <laughs> I kind of wish John wasn't uh, the John Mixy Max wasn't on deck right now because then he'd actually have the White Bylong hair while doing the move. Instead, he doesn't look like a knockoff Bylong at all while using it. But um, yeah, Crown Fire. I don't think you're really gonna beat with anything. But he's gonna give us the ball for free, so that's very nice of him, Quentin. If we can meme on you, then we will. Uh, double Helix has a tight disadvantage, so we shall be using this only once, but this is the move he's meant to have. White Hurricane, I gave to him as a joke, but, uh, you know, as with all members of Giel and Gaal, this is kind of their intended move. Somehow that crown fire was even more powerful than the last one, and again he's chucked the ball straight back to me, and it already wants me to pick number three, so, I mean... It has to be Soul, that's a requirement for every match and you're just going to have to deal with it sadly. I'm sure people in the comments have been giving me all kinds of advice as to who I should actually be using to find success in level 99 competition route matches and I appreciate all those comments but on oh really, really now? I unfortunately have not read any of them because <laughs> Interesting trajectory there. Um, yeah, <laughs> at the time of recording this, I'm still releasing the actual post-game content for the series. This has been a lot of fun. I'm doing it en masse, and we're going for Normal Summon Apollo. Let's see if I can avoid getting in a dribble interaction so that we can actually... Ah, straight into a Mixy Max player as well, so I can't even attempt the charge. I would just lose that. So fine, that's a shame. <laughs> but we can at least go for a Thundertaker, because um, Quentin's not stunned yet. He certainly will be by the end of this, if he doesn't just let me score outright. Uh, yep, that's the best Thundertaker even has the type advantage. Um, no, it doesn't. It's ground moves that be fire, isn't it? I always forget that. What does ground beat it? I, I totally mix up the tight matchups in my head. Um, wood definitely beats air, I'll tell you that one. Power shield has stopped it, and that is a deflection move. Oh no. Why does Quentin have to have one of those as well? That is so unhelpful. Jeez. 
Like, Power Shield's not even a good move normally. It's extremely weak as far as goalkeeper moves go, but on a guy like Mixie Max Quentin, it's going to stop everything we chuck at it, and then he's just going to teleport the ball to the other side of the pitch entirely. That is remarkably frustrating. I've even stunned him, but he's totally gotten away with it. What a prat. Who likes Quentin Cinquedea? That, and there goes uh, Zeto's spirit. What a shame. Ah, oh, this has all gone to pot. At least I'm not losing yet, but with this pass work. Right. Um, I either spirit link on him, but to be honest, I won't. I'm going to choose between Aster and Vulpine, and the choice is Asta. He was working out really, really well in the previous video and he's got two spirits versus just the one of uh, the higher kick stats, but otherwise less useful Vulpine. So, um, I've got someone really close to the interaction there, but I can't risk it. Cross pass. Deary me. Well, that's meant to be one of the best dribbling spirits in the game. At least he's using it extremely poorly <laughs> it's just put him exactly where he was before even closer to soul so that's a free ball for me uh, thank you for that one so that's run down some of their special tactics and given me the ball for free that's a double win and soul's movement speed is enough to get to Quentin but he isn't stunned in fact he's nowhere near because his power shield was so busted in this match that it cleared possessions for nearly 15 minutes of gameplay. Alright, bit of an exaggeration, but off it goes again. 1017. And apparently, I should have spirit linked on Zeto after all. Um, is it too late? Who have I got them on? Uh, yeah, it is too late. I can't do that. I could pass to Soul, but he's offside, so the situation has changed, but because I already pressed the button, I couldn't press it again. That's even more sad. Oh, <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful plan. It was all coming together. Uh, Dragon Link, obviously the most defensive final boss of any in a Zuma 11 game, and they are proving that once again. They're not proving any remote danger of actually scoring a goal so far, unless, haha, <laughs> JK. Um, at least he doesn't have a spirit shooting move, but he'll probably armor fly it. I'll still avoid the risk if I can, though. I. <laughs> I even pressed the spirit tact special tactic to the point of the button turning blue, but uh, no special tactic for me. We've got to block it with superior crown power, gone with Mecha Mark and his hotel transformation for a bit of fun, and it only just worked. And I don't know who I'm passing to here, no one in particular. Goldie, long shot. Run out. Oh, Quentin's spirit is gone? When did that happen? I mean, uh, he's still got Power Shield, whether he's armor fired or not, and it will still uh, put me in grave danger of losing the match. But for now, let's turn this into a Solar Nexus S. And nothing else. I've got no one else here, but please just get it to the goalkeeper. 3.30, nah, the other guy's going to have a shot block and that's it. We don't get to run down his TP. That's a shame, but it happens sometimes. I don't think I've ever ended a first half on nil-nil before. Uh, right. Actually, I need to bring out Apollo ASAP on Sol because he's starting to run out of stamina. Look at that, nil-nil. Yeah, the only football match I ever saw in person was a nil-nil. It's no wonder I never went back. Right, analysis. So, Zeto, I'm simply going to remove from the playing field because I don't want to have to use Spirit Link. You can be Zanuck. Instead, you're swapping places with Asta, though. Um, 
In fact, you're kind of swapping places with Soul, really. And those are my mix and max guys, so that means that Aryan is not going to be especially useful as a striker anymore. So, that's the plan. Actually, I've just opened up a Mixy Max slot for myself, haven't I? But, um, you know, that's Ashtaroth. If it was ju the Judge, then uh, we'd be on good form. But it isn't. I'm sure we'll see it at some point. Uh, Z for Z. Now get that spirit out. Oh, apparently uh, Apollo was the one I used before. So it's summoning sicker this time. I'd, I would love to get possession of the ball without having to armor fly so that I could use the Tempest once or twice. And it looks like my wish has been granted. Hey, look at this. VZ is still going to be a suitable threat. What? Are you kidding? Full Hapjack defense goes into the triple figures when the Tempest can't. Again, he's given it away like an idiot, but I've also passed it to the wrong player who was offside like an idiot. So, uh, mutual death pact on that one. I can't believe the Tempest has been beaten out by such a meme, but anyway, it worked out. For reasons I cannot explain, we have the ball and we're using Thundertaker for, I think, the first time in the match. Again, by all means, let me know in the comments uh, what your strategies would be instead of this more obvious plan, and I will be sure to not use it because it's probably too late. Oh, he stopped it with his bare hand! Um, Goldie, can you get past this guy and go for a Fire Tornado Triple Crusher? No, of course he can't, because that hidden power multiplier is so frustrating in these matches. It'd be enough of a challenge just them being level 99 without that hidden bonus. Did, did they really need it? Um, Tortoise Shell Pattern. And this time they don't have a response because of their previous wastage. I can bring out nothing. <laughs> what were you expecting? Fine, format disc. At least that's a good move. Why do I even open my mouth, man? <laughs> Who would say something as stupid as that? Uh, fine. Let's do... How much time have I got on the clock? You can't see. Uh, then we're not going to armor fly just yet, because I don't know how long I've got to make that spirit last. Mecha Mark does have a second one, but it's not all that great. Mind you, I used to not like it because uh, Behemoth, the one that Hotel has it bashes the ball away with its move rather than giving him possession but honestly that's starting to sound better and better by the day maybe i should go for that one much as the stationer is like the best fighting spirit of them all it's possibly the best goalkeeping move of them all too but um well let's see if i end up doing a goalkeeping moves tier list or something like that so we've got the soul nexus that's helpful it's no thundertaker but we really want to avoid this match ending in a draw. <laughs> I need one goal so that I can actually continue this little mini-series and have a different opponent. I know I was handicapping myself by using Zeto instead of someone a bit more efficient, but we do have time. Clearly I'm not going to be getting five goals, but, but one? Soul's spirit is gone. Um... We can make this work. Uh, Alright, this is not my best uh, thing that I could be doing, but I'm going to try it. It could work. It's at least got Goldie's movement speed enough to avoid that interaction and go for a Fire Tornado Triple Crusher. Goldie's kickstart is not all that high. I haven't trained it at all. 672 for an armor fight. 200 power shot is gonna be blocked quite comfortably by the everlasting Mixy Max. Unlike that one, that one's gone at least. Um, I can actually have an extra Mixy Max apparently. I uh, don't know who to give it to though. 
Asta. He's already had his spirit out the entire time and he's just completely evaded interaction with the ball. So, if he happens to get involved, wherever the heck he is, he is now finally well suited to do- <gasps> <laughs> Right, well that worked out pretty well, didn't it? What's the power? 7.52! Is that it? He's not even scored! And now he's using- What?! Power shield was weaker than his normal catch! Um... Well, we're doing a 180 on power shield, now it's the worst thing ever! We're winning the match out of nowhere, this is brilliant! And Asta is gonna line up another one here. Let's take the ball with Goldie, seeing as we... She is our defender. Obviously, Asta has Asta Rocks, which is superb. And they've eluded both of us, <laughs> but um... We at least have those two upfield options. Following my Hyper Swiper Z, I'm just going to pass the ball upfield. We only won that because of a critical, but who's going to take it? Apparently Volpine. Uh, much as you're a good player, I have a little bit more faith in Asta right now. We have another Spirit Space. Goldie's was a nice little diversion for a teeny tiny bit. But let's armor fight. But let's not. Use Crimson Prison while we've got the chance, and then we'll armor fire him afterwards. I don't think he's going to get to use the Judge, because we've just not got enough time in the match, but Crimson Prison scored before, and it scored again. Awesome! 2-0 now! Can we go for a cheeky A rank in the dying minutes? Because Quentin seems to have utterly ran out of options. We've only got five minutes left, but Asta, when he is armor fire, he can go for a Doom Spear if I get... Uh, really desperate. Just need to get possession here. Because they do all their lovely crafty back passes. Ricardo probably can't beat out the broken multiplier. He can't. Not even close. Special tactic is off the card. No, it isn't. Arian's the one doing it. Back to Asta. That guy's out of stamina because of his Mixy Max. Well, uh, do I Crimson Prison again or do I finally armor fly? I think as a power boost, Dimensional Deluge is stronger than Crimson Prison. But let's test that theory. It is, it's significantly stronger. So, well, I could have been using that the whole time, but I probably would have run out his armor fly. Oh, now his power shield is amazing because he's mixed and matched again, which is just something he can do for some reason. It's just not fair, is it? It's not fair at all that the goalkeeper can mix him out twice. Why is that possible? But 2-0 is what we'll settle for then. So it's still a B rank even when I didn't let them score. That's even more frustrating. <laughs> Uh, the strong rule of the week, that was the rule and all that. Please give me a spirit talker! Give me anything. Well, that's the match with Dragon Link then. Well, that was a bit of fun. We didn't get much of a reward at all. But next time, the ultimate showdown with Bylong himself. And I guess Tezcat too. See you then.